Sunday reset. I wanted to take you through my Sunday rituals for a reset routine. I hope you enjoy and I hope this inspires you to do your Sunday reset. After a long week of working, it's the weekend and it's my time to put me first. I met up with my friend Aqual and we did a charcuterie and make your own pizza night. It was such a recharging event and I love hanging out with her. Sunday comes along and it's my time to reset for that weekly routine to kind of get into that habit and just refresh everything including my mind to go into the next week and have a productive week. The Sunday rituals for my weekly reset routine. This is where I take the time to plan my meals for the week, meal prep, I stock up on groceries and healthy snacks, I can clear out the fridge, do the laundry, change my bed sheets and towels. Nothing beats that feeling of getting into a clean bed, looking around your room, seeing everything so clean and pristine and knowing that you put that effort into cleaning it and you can just sit there and relax and go, ah, it's all clean, your mind's clean, you just feel recharged. I often struggle with my anxiety the worst on Sunday evenings because I'm going to work the next Monday and I just have a bunch of racing thoughts and just thinking about the work day and what's going to come and it's a, it's a bad habit of mine but it just stems from anxiety. So what I like to do is distract myself with tasks and that's when I do like the laundry, I like to deep clean, kind of use that anxious energy to my advantage. And so this day I decided I wanted to tackle the bathroom drawer. It's honestly a mess. It was giving me anxiety every single time I opened it. It's kind of a drawer where we just like throw things in. It has no organization at all. Um, but I got these little boxes from Dossier when they sent me some perfumes, which I'll be showing you later on in this video. But I decided to get creative and kind of do like a little DIY project. And I used the box, I cut them up, and I made these little dividers for the, the bathroom. <laughs> And I just thought it was pretty cute and aesthetic. So I'm just setting them up here, kind of seeing how they fit and how I want them to be placed. And then I'm just going to put everything that I just took out and I'm going to organize it. So all my hair products, skincare products, things that I use on a daily basis, but I want them to be more organized so I can see them. Because I ha have a bad habit of putting products away and not even knowing they're there. And then like a year later, I'm like, oh no, I have this. Okay. I felt so satisfied looking at this drawer after I finished. Everything had its spot. It's not exactly how I want it to be, but honestly, I didn't have the money to buy some organizers and I just made my own. So do it yourself, queen, over here. <laughs> to set off my cleaning rituals, I like to vacuum the entire house. I hate having like dust bunnies and hair everywhere. Just, ugh, it, I just don't like it. It causes me anxiety when I see that it is messy. So I'm just gonna take my vacuum, just run it over the carpets any surfaces that I have and just make sure all the hair gets pulled up into that vacuum because I lose a lot of hair and yeah, it's messy very quickly. After I've deep cleaned, wiped down everything, disinfected the bathroom, I head into my room. Now this is the space that I spend the majority of my time in. My at-home office is in my room so I like to keep this nice and clean because even technically when I'm at work in quotations, I'm in my room. So I like this space to be clean and organized so that I can have a clean and organized day. So I'm just cleaning the clutter from my desk that had built up over the week, you know, like books and my agenda and all that stuff. Um, on Sunday, I like to have this all reset and clean so that when I work from home on the Wednesday, it's going to be nice and prepared for me. So I'm disinfecting all the surfaces and the keyboard and mouse, making sure that that's all nice and clean, cleaning under the um, mat that I have, cleaning down my computer screens. And then I also decided to tackle this like, like I don't know how to say it, it's like a little drawer that I had gotten from work, but I wanted to organize my self-care items. 
So first I'm starting with organizing my bath bombs and like soaps and stuff like that and I wanted to have it like visible and so I decided to reorganize this, move everything off the top and it was just cluttered and just I just threw everything, it didn't have a spot anyways. So I decided to reorganize and have the top be all my bath bombs, my soaps, my perfumes and I feel so much better and clean just looking at it. So Dossier sent me these perfumes and if you haven't heard of them, they have this designer name brand perfumes for cheaper they sell the dupes so you can get these for affordable pricing and they have a lot of dupes like for example Versace, Yves Saint Laurent, all those types and I selected six and they smell so freaking good so thank you Dossier for sending them to me here's the finished product of my scent table I'd like to call it and I just feel so much better being able to see everything I have my hair care products the Dossier products the perfumes and all that it's so much better so I'm also putting away these shoes that I'm not wearing for the summer um, these are like my office shoes but no longer wearing them because it is a winter time <laughs> Time for an Amazon unboxing. I bought this huge, um, I guess it's called a tripod, but like it extends so I can get some aesthetic shots. And I don't know if you guys noticed lately, but I've been using it in my videos and it is the best purchase I've ever bought this year. <laughs> so my aesthetic content is going to be leveling up. I bought some essential oils from the small business and the one I bought is the cookies and cakes. These smell delicious. They literally smell like cakes. There's one that's called coffee cake and it smells absolutely delicious. Like my room's smells like a cafe. So I decided to clean off the little cupboards that I have in my room where I put my clothes, just wipe it down, make sure there's no dust. And of course, my favorite part of my Sunday reset is my everything shower routine. So first I wanted to relax my sore muscles, you know, from cleaning all day with a nice long soak in the tub. I make this so romantic. I set it up as if I'm having like a little, you know, evening date with myself. I put some nice silky bubble bath. Do you guys like my drain protector? It's a little pink octopus. I think it's so cute. Just make sure that the water doesn't escape. You know, I have more bath water. It's just such a um, great addition to my bath routine. But yeah, I like to have a nice long soak and just relax, have some wine maybe, watch some Netflix, and just ease the stress away and prepare myself for that Monday morning. I got these bath bombs from this sweet older lady at this market and pretty much the bottom half is a bath bomb, the top half is whipped soap. I just thought this was so unique. She doesn't have like an Instagram or anything, she just has Facebook and I really wanted to promote it because I thought this was very unique and beautifully designed. After my bath, I like to feel completely clean from head to toe. So I also take the chance to do my curly hair wash day routine, soak my hair, shampoo it, use eucalyptus, all that stuff. And I also like to do my body care, you know, like scrubbing down my body, exfoliating, moisturizing in the shower, all that stuff. So I just like to be fully cleansed on a Sunday evening. So going into Monday, not only is my mind cleansed, I'm emotionally cleansed, spiritually all that i just feel so refreshed going into the week and this has been a staple part of my routine uh, i wash my hair only once a week so this is the time where i can dedicate a lot of time to scrubbing washing shampooing conditioning my hair i also detangle in the shower so on this day on the weekend when i can dedicate this time to really pouring into myself i take that I take advantage of that you know so i take this as a whole self-care day for me um so i spare nothing i just treat myself the body scrub i'm using is the pomegranate scent and it's from dove it is so moisturizing for my skin like i don't want a body scrub to literally dry out my skin and make it feel rough and dry this one makes it feel so silky smooth so i like to do it after my soak in the tub when my skin's nice and kind of like you know, um, soaked and just makes it easier. And I also shave in the shower, do all that. So yeah, that's just part of my maintenance routine. After that shower, I like to moisturize my skin 
and I will do this every single time I take a shower or take a bath because I want to make sure my skin is nice and silky smooth. So this is part of my self-care routine, just making sure to smell good, look good, feel good. And this makes sure that when I go to bed on that Sunday evening, I am just prepared for whatever Monday has to throw at me. So I hope you enjoyed this Sunday reset and perhaps maybe you are doing your Sunday reset routine today. If you are, happy Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.